Welcome back, hackers. Today we are diving into the art of dungeon design in Dungeons & Dragons. If you've ever wondered how to come up with ideas for your dungeons, you're in the right place. I'm the Code Monkey, and let's get started. This video isn't about building the actual dungeon. We will make another video about that later. Today, we are looking at the idea that the dungeon is designed around. As dungeon masters, one key element to consider is the origin of your dungeon. Who built it originally? Was it an ancient civilization, a nefarious wizard, or perhaps nature itself? Understanding the origins sets the tone for the dungeon's history and adds layers of intrigue for your players. Next, you have to decide about the current inhabitants of the dungeon. Are there monstrous creatures, cultists, or maybe even friendly NPCs seeking refuge? Considering the inhabitants adds life to your dungeon and gives the players a variety of encounters to keep them on their toes. It is possible that the dungeon is still under the control of the original builders. It also may have changed hands many times since its construction. Maybe there are multiple factions inhabiting the dungeon at the same time. This allows you to make the dungeon feel alive as the party sees signs of change within the dungeon from owner to owner. Every dungeon has a purpose, a reason for its existence. Is it a forgotten treasure vault, a secret research facility, or a prison for otherworldly entities? Clarifying the purpose helps guide your dungeon's narrative and provides a goal for your players. Often, but not always, this will be the reason the party is delving into the dungeon itself. Now let's discuss the size of your dungeon. Is it a sprawling complex with multiple levels? Or a compact maze filled with twists and turns? Understanding the size helps you create a sense of scale, impacting, exploration, and pacing. Some dungeons fall in the pattern of a five-room dungeon that can be completed in a single session or a 10-room dungeon that takes multiple sessions. Maybe even a mega dungeon that the players spend their entire campaign exploring, like we built in one of our playlists. Lastly, let's focus on the theme. What vibe or atmosphere are you going for? Is it a creepy haunted mansion, an otherworldly celestial temple, or a sunken underwater cavern? Defining the theme not only influences visuals, but also sets the mood for your player's experience. And there you have it, adventurers. Crafting a captivating D&D dungeon involves weaving together the threads of its origin, its inhabitants, purpose, size, and theme. The magic happens when these elements seamlessly blend into a rich tapestry for your players to explore. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. We will have some coming out soon, designing actual encounters and actually designing the dungeon itself. You can also check out a ton of encounters that we've already built in the playlist here for the Mega Dungeon. And until next time, keep on hacking the dungeon.